All right, so uh, we're here at uh, Big Tyson's. As you can see behind it, you will see that in a sec. Uh, I've got some smokers. This is the, the fella whenever I'm doing uh, barbecues and whatnot. Um, he's a man I bring, so he, he always does that and you know shows us how the, the smoking's done. What are we doing today? We're, we're anyway. doing a brisket pie. Pretty yep. much went to Jamboree Valley Meats this morning, grabbed the pie, uh, sold it up, trimmed it up, chucked it in the smoker. She's been sitting uh, about 300, 325 Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in Celsius. <laughs> so yeah, we've done that. Uh, about seven, eight hours, I find the best at that temperature. And we'll grab it out, chop it up, chuck some gravy in it, chuck it in a pie. And we'll have a scoff, eh? I've actually uh, said this plenty of times. I might have even said it to you before. I know I've said it to a lot of people. The best uh, pie I've ever had is the one we're actually showing you uh, today. Uh, and I love my pies. Absolutely love them. And you always need sauce on your meat pie right i always say that and i swear by it but you don't with this pie it's the only pie you won't need to do it it tastes that good uh, the brisket uh flavors that you get through there is money and uh you get to see how it's done so uh let's get into it let's do it Look this big bad boy. Oh, there, there she is. Smell good? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, just uh, the barbecue, just the smokers smell oh, good. They do, they? <laughs> oh, yeah. Just like shakes, like a booty, eh? Tuk, tuk, tuk. Boom. Slap it. Brilliant. Yeah, you want to carve it? Or? Nah, I'll let you carve it, mate. You let you carve I just want to watch. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll give that a squeeze. Can I give it a squeeze? Yeah, I've always wanted to do it. Hear this one? Yeah. You ready? Oh, you see that? Woo! You're gonna have to try it first. I was gonna say, you know, I, mean, I was hoping you would ask. <laughs> For the pies, I normally we cook, I cook it to 202 and then wrap it and everything like that. But for pies, just I just overcook it. 210, so it just falls apart. Mm -hmm. And happy days, yeah. The, yeah the, so a traditional brisket, yeah, you're right. They usually go there and then like, uh, it's not gonna just fall apart like no. that. Huh? Okay. It'll, it'll, you give it a slight tug and it will actually pull, but you gotta give it a little, little bit of resistance. So with the pies, I cook it and you can just pull it. Yeah, I don't know, I think I like it like this as well. <laughs> cut it one way, cut it that way. And then just look at that. All right, so that's what we want for the pie. That's what you want. And I mean, even them little uh, bits in there, right? Like the edge bits, the flavors. That's what you want. Even in the pie. I've been as told. You're, you're, getting, like, you're getting some sparks of that, that flavor in there. Uh, that's what, what I've been told. Out. So everyone that's ate the pies, they look forward to those little yeah. pops of flavor. Exactly, they just go in there, you eat it. And then that's what I mean, you don't want the sauce, right? You get such good flavor from that. The gravy it does, I don't know what gravy it does. Yeah, it falls apart. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty, that's a well pretty, pretty cooked brisket. As he said, he cooks it a little bit more so it will fall apart. Where traditionally, say if you're scoring, because I've been at, at the competitions that they did at Meat Stock and that. So I was there when they were actually getting a judge and they will explain a little bit of it. But yeah, for something like that, you you know, you'd need to do it at that, what you're saying, you'd want it more together, can't be pulling apart. Obviously you'd yeah, lose so points for that. That's what the judges look for. They look, if they can pick it up, give it a slight tug. And then if they can give it a slight tug and it just breaks off, Perfect. Okay, Absolutely. well there you go. I didn't, know, I didn't really know that. To be honest, I think I like it. <laughs> I think I like it like this though. I'm probably going to get some uh, professional uh, smokers coming at me going, you don't know what you're talking about mate. <laughs> Can't have it like that unless it's in the pie. Everyone's got a different way of cooking. Yeah. Just because the grain. There's a different size of grain. Okay, yeah. So that grain will be going this way. Yep. This grain will be going go that, that way. way. Alright, there you go. Cut against grain. That's more pull apart there. Yep. So as I was saying, like with the little, uh, the crispy bits on the outside, like so that's a lot of the, the flavor there. And you get all that through the gravy as well. So when you're eating it, you're just getting these little, I know I keep saying sparks, but these little- uh, Pops. Pops, that's a better word, I'll say the pops. Pops of just the uh, flavor like that, get that like uh, the peppery, the salty, uh, you know, the beautiful seasoning that you get on it. It's got some secrets uh, in, in the, in the rub, so we won't get right into it, but it's tasty. You know, you 
I'm here, right? I'm, I'm here cooking with him. Oh, yeah, it's the best pie I ever had just because he's here. I say this, the guy in the camera making, uh, that's why we actually, he made it happen. I had them in contact to tee it up when we could uh, find time to actually uh, do the pie for you guys. Because I've been uh, raving on about these pies uh, to my manager and everything. I'm like, mate, you've got to taste it. And I'm like, the world's got to taste these. Might have to be something we do, Big T. It might have to be. Might have to be something. To. People need it to taste It would be good. This. We'll tease it, uh, tease it a little bit here and we'll see, we'll see what happens. It wouldn't be a job, it'd be fun. Chuck it all in there. Yeah, I'm gonna say get all the little bits. And then we make our gravy. There goes, so look at, look at all these things. Look at this big thing. Woo, it's heavy. Oh, it's good, but like, uh, oh, that's what the weights are up there for. So I light the fire in there, cook the, cook the brisket, all the long stuff at home, and I'll take this to a party. Yeah. And then we um, cook all the nibblies. Cook all the littlies. Give them that smell. Yeah, it's it. I mean, you you guys have seen a, you've been on a few of the episodes, mate. A lot of times, every time I've got a, a little event or something happening, whether we're watching the UFC, um, doing a watch party or something like that, I usually get the get a feed for everyone. And Big T's uh, barbecue is usually there. steam so the okay, roof yeah. doesn't raise up and well, that's it there there it chuck, is chuck it in the oven 180 for about 50 minutes and should be good to go we'll see what it's like in 50 minutes eh? let's go amazing how much you lose that. so you had the big brisket so you were able to do that i'm gonna make a heap of pie heap of pies out of it all the trimmings here uh mince that all up so you can get mad little uh beef patties burger patties so you can make uh, mad burgers as well. So, you could do a lot with a nice big brisket, that's for sure. Ooh. Say family size, right? Like it'll be like feet yeah. four. I oh, will oh, really oh. die. <laughs> people like, ah, oh, it's that good. I sit there and be like, oh, it's enough, but <sighs> gotta be more, gotta be more, gotta be more. Lure the brisket through that. Ooh yeah. Beautiful. Mm-mm. Mm. I love my pies hot as well. Yeah, yeah I love like ah, just eat a little bit at a time. Otherwise if they're not hot, I just hope oh, I'll gulp them in like a free free bite. <laughs> I feel bad, right? I feel bad. I feel like people need to taste it. People need to experience it. I feel like we have to do something with this. Maybe we put this on the market. People need to taste it. If we ever did, let us know if you would uh, buy. Let us know what you think. Let us know if uh, you believe we should be doing something like that. And would you have a go? Because trust me, you are missing out. I'll put it that way. All right, so there you have it. Done and dusted. Uh, I'm sure we made you jealous. I know every time we do the cooking uh, videos, you're like, why you gotta do it to us? Every time there's a video, we gotta watch. But now I'm starving, so I apologize for that. But I really appreciate it, man. Thank, Thank you very much. Well, uh, it was unreal, delicious. Uh, I'm lucky enough I get to taste the pies all the time, but taste uh, um, the guy behind the camera got to taste it today and uh, got to get a bit of uh, the meats that we had going today. So uh, I'm gonna leave it at that. Love yous and leave yous.